Hello, I'm Ray from DCRainmaker.com. What I've got here today is the Apple Watch. I'm going to put it in this waterproofing chamber and see how well it holds up. Um, now, I've already done some swim tests with it, as well as some jumping off a platform test, but now I'm going to go ahead and see what the limits are of the unit itself. Uh, now, of course, the Apple Watch isn't officially waterproof to anything, uh, so this is kind of beyond the, the limits of what you should be doing with it, but we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Um, what I've got here is a custom designed chamber. It's about filled halfway with water. I'll put it on this top and put the Apple Watch inside. And then I've got a completely automated system that will use the compressor that's down here uh, to automate the test. And it's about a seven to 10 minute long test. And it's gonna take it to 50 meters. I was gonna do 25 meters, but honestly, I'm just too lazy to reprogram the test I already have that I use for other watches. So in this case, we're gonna go for broke and see what happens. Let's go ahead and get inside the unit or inside the chamber. Okay, got the unit all powered up here. It's just turning up right now. Um, what I'll do is I'll put this little timer here so you can see the time itself. Um, and then also inside right there, and I'll move the camera up for the actual test, I've got a dive gauge. It's a standard dive gauge that you can use for scuba diving. Um, now this is in feet and the machine measures in meters. So just keep that in mind. Simple math is three to one, uh, three feet for every meter. We'll go ahead and we'll connect to the device. Okay, now I've got the watch all set here. Um, I've got the automation machine here. Uh, you see there's an air bubble on the, on the front of the, the watch. I wouldn't worry about that. There's a lot of air bubbles that are down here just when you get the whole machine uh, sealed up. So I've got an automated test profile. It's already set up here. Um, at this point, it's ready to go. Uh, remember the dive gauge is there uh, and it's in feet towards this is in meters over there. So let's go ahead and get things started. Okay, now the automated dive test has started. You'll see the gauge on the left-hand side. Just keep on increasing in steps. Um, so it went there 50 feet, now 75 feet. It's coming up on 80 feet. Uh, and then here goes 100 feet. And then it'll jump up to 110, followed by 125 here, and then down to 140 feet, or basically at 40 meters roughly. Um, at this point, the test profile will go back down pretty close to the surface. So you'll see it drop in a second here to 80 feet. Um, this is after it holds up for about a minute, uh, 80 feet, and then down to 50 feet before it'll drop back or increase um, in depth all the way back down to 140 feet uh, or 40 meters again. The entire test process takes about eight minutes long. Um, you're watching a fairly abbreviated version here. So there we go again, back down to 140 feet, um, and we're holding again for another minute. And then finally at the end of this, We'll go ahead and in basically two increments all the way back down, release the pressure there. You can see it dropping, continuing to drop uh, first again to 80, and then we'll go down to 40 and just let it continue on uh, to finish up and zero out and remove all the pressure from the chamber. Okay, looks like the test completed successfully, at least from an automation standpoint. Now, of course, we won't know the results until we get the watch out of the chamber. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. And there we go, I got the Apple Watch out of the chamber. Uh, still seems to respond just fine to things. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just, you know, the passcode's there. Um, I can swipe, I can go ahead and attempt to enter my passcode here. Um, got the, just a bit of an easier view for you there. Uh, so I can go ahead and I can swipe, no problems at all. Um, everything's working, I can get to press the button there. I can zoom in and out, uh, no issues with that either. Um, so this button works as well, brings up context, so no problems there. Um, so things look to be, seem to be working just fine. I'm not seeing any, any real issues, any fall off from this. Uh, certainly nothing, you know, it's, that's broken on the unit that I can see. Um, obviously I'll keep things, um, keep an eye on them for the next little bit, but uh, so far so good. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye on the channel over the next few days for more Apple Watch related videos.